the ramp was actually a concrete ramp that was built by the Americans during World War II. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, the US gave Britain 50 old battleships in exchange for the rights to build bases on various British territories. St. Lucia was the first British territory in the Caribbean where the Americans established a military presence. Down on the south end of the island, what is now our Hiranora International Airport, was actually a US military base. In 1940, it was a fall of France. And there we know that Germany did occupy the north and western parts of France. There it was said that there were presence of foreign submarines in the Caribbean, which caused quite a bit of concern to the Americans. Of course, since the Panama Canal was newly built, Florida being very close to those, to those islands, you take the southern tip of Florida, you get the Florida Keys, and then you get what we call the Greater Antilles, which are the islands of Hispaniola, which is Haiti and the Dominican Republic, Cuba, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, St. Thomas. All the other islands south are considered to be the less Antillean islands, going as far south as Trinidad, which is the largest of the less Antillean islands. So there we had um, a visit by the then said President of the United States, Franklin Roosevelt. The Americans were looking for islands to set up bases, and St. Lucia was one of those first islands selected where they built a ramp here to accommodate 18 seaplanes. The, the seaplanes they used are what they call the Catalinas. And I'm to think they didn't have, they built it for 18 seaplanes, but I think they had just about 8 to 12 seaplanes on this ramp here. Now part of that ramp was utilized for building the Royal St. Lucian Hotel. So this is all that is left of it. Right. The Americans also utilized the saddle or the middle of Pigeon Island as a signal station in 1942. There they went to the south of the island where they also utilized the southern end of the island as a signal station. They built two concrete airstrips. One of them we resurfaced with asphalt, lengthened it, and that we did with the help of the Canadian government. We built a new terminal and renamed the airport from Beanfield Airport to Hiwanora International Airport. Now some of us may have known about the Kakabef Highway which is the, the other airstrip, uh, which we may be using now for the expansion of the international airport. So don't think we are crazy to build an airport all the way in the south and have one driving a little over an hour, an hour to get to your result. The Americans built it and we uh, utilized it. It wasn't meant as a commercial airport. So if you didn't know, now you know as to why we have these two airports on this island. Now of course on the rump here, we have some O-rings that were used by the seaplanes in the event that it had gotten too, too windy. Okay, now I'm going to show you one of the O-rings that they use for strapping down the, the seaplanes. It is right here. Okay, that's one of them. There are several of them all the way up. Pigeon Island is probably one of the most historic places on all of St. Lucia. Uh, dating back to prehistoric times, then coming into the days when the Kalinago lived in St. Lucia, those would be the Indians who came up from South America through Venezuela, came up the archipelago and came into St. Lucia. And then, um, during the fighting between the English and the French, Pigeon Island also factored in significantly. It's interesting to note that even related to the American War of Independence, Pigeon Island featured in some of that action. And here's the little story about it. So, think of this. Um, the Boston Tea Party. The 300 chests of tea being thrown into the sea and uh, the, the colonists in America saying no taxation without representation. And that eventually led into the American War of Independence 1776. Now, in that war, um, the French 
supported the Americans fighting against the British because we know there's never been any love loss between the English and the French. So good old Admiral Rodney, that British Admiral, fought on behalf of Britain in the American War of Independence and General de Gras, the French general, fought alongside the Americans. Now, America won its independence and that was 1776. And coming out of that, General de Gras came into the Caribbean, into Martinique, that is 25 miles north of St. Lucia. Uh, Admiral Rodney, back in St. Lucia, at Pigeon Island, right behind me, watched the buildup of ships in the, going into Fort de France and figured that the French were up to something. And remember that the British are chafing after the American War of Independence. So now Admiral Rodney, suspecting that they're up to something, starts building up his fleet right here in front of Pigeon Island. And now they're hidden, his fleet is hidden away from the French who are on the other side of the island, north of us. And as soon as they set sail, the French set sail, Admiral Rodney takes off after them eventually catches up with them just off Dominica. So you go from Martinique, um, then it's up to Dominica, and then off of Dominica, there are these little islands called the Saints. And that's where Rodney catches up with the French and ends up breaking through the French line. And as a consequence of that, is able to win a decisive battle decisive victory for the English. Now, that battle called the Battle of the Saints was in 1782, just six years after the American War of Independence. So again, just sharing for our North American friends, all of this amazing, amazing, amazing history that is locked up, that is enshrined over here in St. Lucia, featuring and factoring in Pigeon Island. And when you come over, I am going to invite you to come check us out. Check out Pigeon Island. Join me for that private Pigeon Island historic tour that I do. That's not only a hike up the mountain side, but also a delve into back in time. And now that my throat is kind of parched, I'm going to take a moment and have a swig of my piton beer. Mm. Mm -mm, good. And with that, Kirk out. Boom. Town, I'm gonna take you away.